Hey folks, Mr. Modern Survival here. Uh, if you saw my last uh, video on my channel update, then uh, I am not dead, uh, but I am still having a lot of camera issues. So I'm on the webcam today. The audio is horrible, so uh, forget my audio. But still, uh, today with the idea of the uh, cheap prepping, and I'm continuing on with that because um, I've actually had uh, I've actually had some really good comments on the videos uh, with regard to uh, budget prepping or cheap prepping or simply just making the most of your dollar when it comes to your individual prep. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, I have a rifle on my shoulders and so along with the same thing that I'm using with cheap prepping as far as your food prep uh, and you know some of the other uh, miscellaneous items that you might need should the poo-poo hit the fan. Uh, one day, and I, as I'm sure that it will, you can't help but look at what's going on in America and see that uh, that there's getting ready to be a dramatic change. And so, uh, as you prepare for that, not only with your food, not only with your water, not only with your miscellaneous type items, but also with your defensive prep. Uh, uh, if you've seen my video on the two gun rule, uh, then you'll no if you'll look at some of the comments, you'll notice that I had some negative comments. Uh, with regard to the fact that my two gun rule, some would say, costs too much money uh, and it would overwhelm a new prepper or somebody that's not used to the idea of building an arsenal for uh, personal defense or home defense or retreat defense should we be plunged into a WROL or without rule of law situation where you're basically on your own, you have no uh, defense from the uh, military or the police department. Um, but so. Yeah, they're right. Um, not everybody has the money to go out and buy a uh, uh, you know a top of the line rifle uh, just to put up and store for a just in case situation. So here we go. Keep prepping. Uh, this is try to get it centered on the webcam there. Some of you are going to recognize this right off the bat. This is the Mosin Nagant M9130, and I went and picked up another one of these, a new one. Uh, just for this video and just for the series that uh, that I'm doing on cheap prepping, uh, and I got this is this one is actually in very good condition, condition bold action. Uh, if you know anything about them, if you don't, it's a uh, surplus rifle uh, produced uh, in mass quantities by the uh, the Soviet Union, the uh, Czechoslovakians, the uh, Hungarians, Bulgarians, Chinese. Pretty much everybody's made this rifle. Um, this one's a 1942 uh, model. Um, came out of the uh, Republic of Georgia, and uh, if I if I'm if I'm got my history right on it, uh, this one's in, in excellent condition. Uh, you can you can see the furniture is in great shape. It came with the sling. It came with not just one, but actually came with two uh, ammo pouches, bandoliers. It came with the bayonet, which is still wrapped up. You can see in the uh, in the paper there. And it came with uh, the, uh, the oil canister and the cleaning kit there in the uh, pouch that you saw. This one is in absolutely immaculate condition. Uh, the furniture on it's beautiful. It, it's uh, you know it's in great shape. The mechanics of it, the uh, as you can see, the uh, the bolt slides freely. Uh, this one does have the round receiver, so it's not exactly the most desirable as far as the guns go. I know the hexagonal receiver ones. Are, uh, are considered to be more valuable, um, but this one has a trap door to release uh, excess ammunition, holds five rounds in a, uh, in a contained box magazine, uh, fires the 7.62 by 54R round, uh, the Russian or uh, rimmed round as they, some people like to call it. It's got adjustable sight, uh, you can see that right there, very nice adjustable sight, uh, enclosed uh, front sight. Uh, with the cleaning rod attached here that you just unscrew and it pulls right out. Uh, now I picked this one up new uh, just for this series of videos like I said because I wanted to prove the point uh, and I'm going to do that through several videos in the future. I'm going to prove the point that you can build a functional survival arsenal on a budget. Uh, now this is not my first choice when I go to reach for a bold action rifle this is not it. I have a Remington Model 700 uh, that I've got tricked out, that I do some deer hunting with, and that I shoot quite a bit with, uh, that is my first choice. But if I'm a new prepper, if I'm on a you know a really tight budget, I picked this rifle up the other day from uh, from a local FFL dealer. I picked this rifle up, came with all the goodies for a hundred bucks, a hundred dollars even, hundred plus tax, and and ended up being you know what 
hundred and seven, hundred eight bucks or something like that after taxes after you charge your tax. Uh, a hundred bucks and you've got a functional uh, medium to long range rifle, bolt action that works very well. Uh, got all the goodies that you need to make it continue to work and again maintain this rifle that come with it. Very nice, uh, uh, very nice uh, piece considering you only pay a hundred dollars for it. Uh, now the one, the one major downfall that I think that these rifles have is the safety. Uh, let's get that in there right there. If you'll see this right here on the back of the receiver, you actually pull this out and turn it and let it drop uh, back on the other side, and that is how the safety functions. It takes a lot of muscle to pull that thing back and turn it. Sometimes it's slippery. There's not a lot of grip on it. The safety stinks. But this is this is the survival rifle if you're on a budget. Uh, you can you could buy you can afford to, most people can afford to buy three or four of these things and put them up and guess what if you don't even if you know if the poo hits the fan and you don't end up using three or four of them what are they they're money they're barter material uh, you might find yourself in desperate need of rice or oats or wheat or some other staple that you desperately need and you might find yourself having two or three of these old nagas that you paid a hundred bucks for back in the day or some of you have got some back when they first got flooded in the late 80s and you can pick these things up for 50 bucks or sometimes less. You've got these, guess what? You've got money. You can trade and 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 basically weapons are never going to lose their value at all. If anything, they're going to continue to climb in value. So, just wanted to show you this one real quick. Mr. Modern Survival doing the continuing in the uh, cheap prepping series, the Mosin Nagat M9130. Uh, picked it up for 100 bucks. That's cheap. Stay safe, keep prepping. God bless.